What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here and in today's video I'm going to be helping out new stock investors try to stop losing money. Just a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. You should never listen to anything on the internet that anyone says. I do not have a course to sell you. I do not want your money. It'd be cool if you liked the video. And besides that, let's just get into it. All right, so the first reason that newer traders are losing money is because they are trading instead of investing. And what do I mean by that? If you are buying a stock, selling it in a week, and you're panicking because it's going up and down, you're doing it wrong. You are trading. Actually, you are considered a day trader if you hold a stock for 365 days so one year and under, okay? And the reason is because you get into a different tax bracket, which is 366 days and higher. But that's not the point. You're thinking about the short-term games. You're trying to predict the market. You think that you're so good at this and you are better than everybody else and you're gonna be able to just predict what's going on. You might be able to do this a couple times, but quickly, soon, you will lose all of that money. Believe me, I've been there. A lot of people have been there. When you're just looking at the short-term, man, and you care so much because you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're so concerned with what's going to happen next month, you're really missing the whole point of investing. So what does an investor do? What is the smart money? They're thinking three years out, I think this company's going to do this or that. Five years out, I think this company's going to do this or that, right? And so that's what you really need to think about because understand you are an investor. You are not a trader of these companies. These companies are something that you believe in, that you somewhat understand. You're going to have to do research to understand some of these. A great stock to start with is something like Tesla, which has a little bit more risk or Nvidia, maybe even Nike. Disney, right? These are good quality stocks. You need to look into them further, but you need to invest into them. That's the most important thing there. The next tip I have for you is that understanding the stocks that you buy says a lot about you as a person and as an investor. And what do I mean by that? If you're trying to buy the next Google, the next Amazon, you think you're you're just so smart, man. You're going to find the next big company and you're going to become a millionaire in the next year. You're fooling yourself. Trust me, more than 90% of day traders will lose their money. That is a fact. That is not my opinion. And if you honestly think you're just going to come into this market and you know everything, you're better than the hedge funds and everything, you are fooling yourself, okay? If you can't tell me what stock you have, there's so many people I meet at work and when I'm out about and I meet friends that I used to know and they're getting into stocks and I'm like, cool, dude, tell me about that stock in your portfolio. I don't know, man. And they don't even know what the acronym is. They'll have to look at it. I, oh, uh, it's it's an airport company. Seriously, dude, you don't know anything about it. Well, why'd you buy that stock? You know, be honest with yourself and really look at your portfolio. Scrub your portfolio and say, like, are these good quality stocks? And think about that. Doesn't that sound silly? I'm buying a stock that I know nothing about. I'm investing in something. I'm throwing my money because you're working hard for this cash. I'm assuming you have a job, right? Don't you do a lot of difficult things at work? Why blow your money? on some crap because that's what you're doing it's not worth it man there's only 24 hours in a day most people are probably spending 10 to 12 hours between traveling to work you have to sleep right you only have a couple hours of the day why waste that little bit of time that you have to yourself that hard-earned money that you worked on on some crap stock that you don't even know what it is you should be able to at least describe what the business does what they're planning on doing. This is the kind of research you need to do. You know, have you ever researched their quarterly reports, their annual reports? And what are they doing two years from now, three years from now? This is all stuff you can easily find, right? It's on the internet. You can find out this information because again, these stocks represent you as a person. And when you start thinking of it like that, you're, you'll start making better decisions in my opinion. My third tip is watching who you take advice from. There's an easy way to figure this one out. Ask yourself, is the person that I'm taking advice from in a position that I want to be in, okay? So it's like, here's a good analogy. If you're at the gym and this guy, he's got a massive beer belly, he's obviously not taking care of himself. He's like, dude, if you want to get a six pack, man, you got to hit more of this or that exercise, right? No. Or would you listen to someone who has chiseled abs, who obviously is taking care of themselves? It's the same kind of thing with your money, right? People in your life, that are giving you advice to saying stock market is a scam or, oh, don't buy that, man. Ace, put all your money in the bank. Are those people in the position that you want to be in? right? Should you really be listening to those people? Have they applied the stuff that they're telling you? And do they have a better outcome? How is that working out for the people that you're listening to? 
Or are you watching specific people that actually have good advice? There's so many people on YouTube that are credible, but there's just as many bad ones. If you ever need a list, in my opinion, of good quality people that don't want to sell you a course that will give you the information for free on their YouTube channel, you know, the least you could do is throw them a like. Hit me up in Discord. I'll send you some of my favorite YouTubers that I like to watch, and it'll just get you along a path of good people to listen to. Something I had a lot of difficulty with was dealing with my wife. I'm still married to her. I love my wife to death, just for the record. But early on, you know, my wife did not want me to trade stocks. She comes from a background of like security, right? Just an average life, make your money, go home and that's it, right? Security blanket. That's not the life that I've wanted to live. Ever since I was a teenager, I knew I wanted to become rich. I knew that this was the path that I wanted to take, right? And so my wife and I, we'd always fight and oh, don't throw your money in there. Let's just put it in savings. It was very difficult decision. I had to ignore her and it was tough at first. We did fight a lot. We're still happily married. And now she thanks me to this day, you know? And so sometimes you have to ignore the people in your life. It's not because they're trying to be mean because I genuinely think these people are trying to help you, but you need to understand, hey, these people aren't in the position you're in. They don't know what the heck they're talking about. Yes, you have to discuss it with your significant other, but sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. Sometimes you have to invest that money or or else that money is going to be exactly the same amount as when you take it out 10 years from now and you're never going to grow your wealth. The next tip I have for you is that you're not defensive with your money. You must protect that money just like it's your kid. I'm not even kidding. You must always think, how can I not lose my money? Because if you get too concerned with gaining money, with, with 10xing your money, again, 100xing your money, you're missing the point. Protect that money. If you invest $10,000 in whatever stock, you must keep that $10,000. If it becomes eleven dollars or $12,000, that's awesome. But you have to defend this, just like it's your child. Always respect the money, okay? If you go out, right, and you're buying a water bottle from the store one time, how much is this? Like $1.75? Some places I've seen water bottles go for almost $3. Is that a smart decision? Or is it a smarter decision to go somewhere like Walmart, buy a 24-pack for $4? It's a much smarter decision. That's how much you have to respect the money. Is it worth it to go out that night with your friends and drink and party and get a hotel and spend hundreds of dollars? Or would it be smarter to just stay at home, right? You have to understand that you can't just keep spending your money. You must respect the money. There's something that I always ask myself, and I've been doing this for over five years now. Does this make me money? If the answer is yes, I'll consider buying it. If the answer is no, it's got to go away. Does this make me money or does this lose me money? There's nothing in between. There's no maybes. You must be this strict with your life. You have to cut off these vices. You have to cut off things that are not making you money. Get them out of your life. They have to go. Now, am I saying cut off your own family members? No, right? They're obviously your family members. That's a little bit different, but you get the point of what I'm saying, right? You must be so strict with your money. You must be frugal. You must save every single penny you can because until you can save up a bunch of money, you can't afford to spend any money. The next reason you're losing money is because you don't research anything. You don't learn anything. You're not trying to better yourself. I never read a lot of books. I have read some books. I didn't learn much. I learned a lot more from YouTube, to be honest with you. But where I really learned the most was from my failures. Because when I started trading stocks on E-Trade, like I said, I don't know, around 11, 12 years ago, there wasn't a lot of good videos to watch like there is now on YouTube. There wasn't all this free education. I read a couple books. I watched Jim Cramer in the beginning. You know, I learned some things, but it wasn't a lot. But where I really learned to save and how I really learned to trade stocks was from failure, right? And do you have to go out and fail? No, you don't have to go out and fail, but you need to do your research. You guys are so fortunate if you're just starting off because when I started off, I had to use real money to fail, right? So I started off with 500 bucks in my account on E-Trade, bought some crappy milk company, lost like 20% right off the bat. I think I ended up losing 40% of my 500 bucks. And I was like, what in the heck? And then I wised up a little bit because that's what it took, man. I needed to see that. But in today's world, you're very fortunate it because you can paper trade. Paper trading means you trade just like I do, except for you're using fake money. So you could trade the exact same stocks at the exact same times and learn the lesson for free, right? Get into the market with these paper trade companies. You can you can make an account on a TD Ameritrade, TDA. So just Google TDA and you can create a paper account and you can put in as much money as you want and just blow it because it's not real and you can learn the lesson. As long as you put the effort in, you can learn for free, man. Practice it, get into the market, do research. You know, when you look up a stock, 
click on the news articles, learn about what they're doing. And, and again, always researching, watching things, learning, reading books, however you want to do it, whatever. If you're a visual learner, do that, but always research and better yourself. Now, I don't have a lot of time on my hands, right? So how do I still get to watch these videos? When I'm driving, I'll listen to it or I'll have a hands-free device playing somewhere and maybe I'll watch it on my lunch break, right? You have to constantly put in the time, you have to learn and you have to put in the research because if you don't do those things, you're not going to learn anything about these companies. You're not going to learn about the market. It's very difficult at the beginning to learn about the market. And I know, trust me, I've been there without the internet, but now I really understand how the market works. I understand the cycles that the market goes through. You know, look at charts, try to understand the chart. Don't just look at it and say, oh, it's up and down. Like learn what RSI is, learn what a MACD is, learn a lot of these things, these indicators, right? And understand things. Look at the S&P 500 has performed over the last 50 years. Look at the cycles. Look at how technology changes, right? You need to look and understand what the NASDAQ is. Not saying you have to become a master at knowing what the NASDAQ is, but understand these things. Put the time in. You need to research it. Get off your butt. Stop playing games. Stop watching Netflix or whatever you're doing and understand that you have to learn because if you don't better yourself, you don't educate yourself, you don't research anything, then you're just blindly buying stocks. And of course, you're not going to make any money. And 20 years from now, you're going to be really sad that you didn't take other people's advice, but it's got to be the right advice. All right. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. This is my first time ever making a stock video. If you made it this far into the video, please put in hashtag I made it. And then I'll know that someone out there at least got to see my tips. Let me know if any of this changes your mind, if this inspired you in any way, or if you felt like it wasn't beneficial, I definitely could use the feedback in the comment section below. If you ever want to see more stock videos besides the crypto videos, you can see all my graphics cards. That's usually what we do on this channel. So yeah, if you ever want to see more stock videos, stock advice or whatever, not financial advice though, uh, just let me know. And I appreciate every single one of you. If you ever want to reach out to me, my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord links are in the description below. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. DJ Minds, signing out.